Today on Sci Guys, extracting strawberry DNA. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Teresa. And today we'll be extracting the DNA from a strawberry. And then we'll manipulate it and take over the world. Ooh, that was a really good evil laugh. Thanks. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and they're the instructions for how your cells grow, divide, and behave. The equipment and ingredients you're going to need for this episode includes 70% rubbing alcohol, fresh strawberries, salt, liquid dish soap, a medium-sized mixing bowl, measuring spoons and measuring cup, a small and a large beaker or glass, a strainer, a funnel, plastic bags, and a pair of tweezers. Although we're not dealing with anything hazardous today, it's always a good idea to wear a lab coat or apron to protect from spills and splashes. Also, do not drink any of the solutions created in this episode. To start, we're gonna mix a third of a cup of water, a half teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of dish soap. Once you have your solution made, place your rubbing alcohol into the freezer to chill. The next step in our experiment is to take three strawberries with stems removed and put them into your Ziploc bag. Use a tablespoon and measure out three tablespoons of our salt water solution into our bag. Once you have that in there, seal your Ziploc bag, press out all the air, and then mush your strawberries for about two minutes until they're a fine foamy paste. Next, we're gonna strain our strawberry pulp into the beaker. And you're going to use a spoon to push it through. To prepare for the next step, remove your rubbing alcohol from the freezer. The next step in our experiment is to take one half cup of your chilled rubbing alcohol and our strawberry foam mixture and gently pour your alcohol into your mixture. You don't want the alcohol to mix with the strawberries, you just want it to create a fine layer on top. This will help your DNA separate from the rest of your strawberry mixture. Lastly, use the tweezers to remove the cloudy DNA from your beaker. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and it's a molecule that encodes cells with the genetic instructions used in the development, division, and behavior of all known living organisms and even some viruses. Strawberries are octoploid, which means each cell contains eight sets of DNA, unlike human cells, which are diploid, meaning they contain two sets of DNA. We use strawberries in our experiment because of the large amount of DNA in each cell. Detergent molecules have two sides, a head which is attracted to polar water molecules and a tail which hates water but likes to attach to non-polar molecules. Cells are made up of a phospholipid bilayer, with a polar phospho outside and a non-polar lipid interior. This property of cells makes them partially polar and non-polar. When our strawberries are squished and the cells are broken apart, the detergent tail attaches to the inner, non-polar side of the cell membrane and pulls the membrane pieces away into the water, effectively separating the cell membrane from the DNA inside the cell. This interaction between the soap and cells is much like how detergent will pull dirt and oil out of clothing. After the DNA has been separated from the cell membrane, the salt in our solution creates a conductive ionic environment which causes the strawberry DNA to bind and clump together. When we slowly mix the rubbing alcohol with our strained strawberry solution, we discover that DNA is not soluble in rubbing alcohol, which means they will not mix together. Because rubbing alcohol is less dense than our strawberry solution, it will layer on top of our strawberries, pulling the DNA away from our squished solution, allowing the DNA to form cloudy clumps, which can be collected with tweezers. That's it for Strawberry DNA. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. 
And be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode, or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! Now that we have the DNA of a strawberry, we're one step closer to taking over the world. How is strawberry DNA actually going to accomplish that? Hmm. Huh. Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.